I'm Danica Lohr from the Saskatoon Public Library. I'm really pleased to be living here in Treaty 6 territory. It's a place where people have gathered to listen and tell stories and to learn from each other for tens of thousands of years. So today we're going to do an activity called back drawing, or that's what I'm calling it. I saw this um, as a post on Instagram from my friend Holly Robinson, who's a storyteller from the States, and she had pictures up of her kids doing this activity. And so I enlisted my children to be involved. So I have Jasmine and Cole with me today. And what we're going to do is we're going to take two pieces of paper and two pieces of tape and a marker and a pencil. And so we have one piece of paper taped to the wall and the other piece of paper we're gonna to tape to Cole's back. Cole's gonna draw with a pencil so that it doesn't go through the paper and Jasmine's gonna draw with a marker on his back. And so we're going to see how close the picture that she draws is to the picture that he draws to see if he can, if they can make some kind of a, a link mentally or if he'll be able to feel the design and be able to copy it on the paper. So we're going to set this up and Cole is going to draw and Jasmine's going to draw on his back and that's all we need for now. So here's Cole and Jasmine and Jasmine is going to start drawing on Cole's back and Cole's going to see what he comes up with. Don't peek, Jasmine. Draw your own. Don't look at what he's doing. So Jasmine is drawing. Cole's trying his best to figure out what she's drawing. Come in a little closer. Let's see, you can see what she's doing. Take a look and see what Cole's doing up here. It can be very serious and a little bit stressful, but it doesn't have to be. This is just fun. All right, so we're going to take the pictures, show them side by side, and we'll see what we've got. So Jasmine drew a pig, and it looks like Cole's drawn some sort of a squid, squid type creature. Now, one of the cool things is that he was able to feel that the first thing that was drawn was the big circle, and then the details got a little fuzzy. But they're both creatures, they both have eyes and they both have some sort of, um, you know, some sort of appendages. So that's what they did. Now, the other day they did one, and we're just gonna show you what the result of that one was. So Jasmine, if you could pass me the, the two and stick them back up on the wall. So in this one, Jasmine drew a little dinosaur and Cole drew a little lion. And if you can see, they both had heads and they both had bodies. And though Jasmine had spikes, Cole thought that was a lion's mane. And they both had, um, they both had tails, but they were on opposite sides of the body. And I wonder if that might be because the brain maybe switches that. I'm not sure because I haven't done a scientific experiment about this. But this is something that you could experiment with yourself. And I'm just really glad that you stopped in for our boredom buster today. Thanks for watching.